All right, guys, let's dig into this thing. Let's do a quick disassembly again on the ATRS Modern Varmint. So being an alternative AR-15, it definitely has an alternative takedown process. So first of all, we'll drop our cross mag. We will prove clear. And then we're going to drop the hammer. It's got only one front pin. Uh, so we're gonna disassemble that front pin here first which is quite tight and it's because you have to put a little bit of pressure uh, from the back. The way this hinge system is, is uh, you pop out the front pin and then this slides, they slide apart like, like this way and then they come apart. So there's a bit of pressure from the buffer system pushing this thing forward. So I'm gonna take a bit of that pressure out while I drive this front pin out and then you'll see right away it wants to back off it wants to just slide out like that. So that slides out, your trigger should be dropped, pull it back, and then it should just come out like that. It's a bit stiff, but they should just separate then. Here we've got our lower, and here we've got our upper. And again, we just pull this charging handle back a little bit. That pops our bolt out. You can see there's a few differences here. There's a little slot milled in here, which is where the uh, where the side charger picks it up. Otherwise, very much a standard affair. I don't know if I need to really take this down much because it takes down exactly like any other DI AR-15. Just got a state gas key. It's uh, it's very very similar. Um, internally, oh, I guess in the process, your AccuTac may have gotten detached and fallen off. Uh, which is fine. That's your your internals there. You can see all the lugs. It's uh, it's pretty straight and standard affair. I don't even know if I need to show you guys how to put this thing back together. Other than that, you just want to make sure that your again your trigger is down. You just put it in, push it forward, close that pin. Really simple stuff. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave it there. That's the disassembly and not even reassembly because it's so simple of the ATRS modern environment. All right, thanks a ton, guys. Armored gun out, except for the fact that I have a bonus gun for you that I did not plan for. So I'm gonna very quickly grab something off the shelf. And that just so happens to be another great non-restricted rifle in Canada, the Fame SG542. This thing is a really cool, really cool gun. That should have locked back, there we go. Uh, last round bolt hold open. This gun is built in Chile. It's a 308 battle rifle, basically. It's an awesome gun. Really like this gun. I've got lots more videos on this thing. There are some of my earlier videos, um, so I would argue my uh, pacing and stuff wasn't quite as potentially quite as good. I'm hoping I'm improving. I'm still trying to improve again as I go through these. I'm definitely a rookie in terms of YouTube stuff, but always trying to improve. And uh, yeah, so I will leave you guys here, and uh, we'll pick it up again tomorrow with a full overview of the. ATRS Modern Varmint. Thanks a ton guys, Arm and Gun out.